I want to introduce you to my method, Paul Sellers' method for sharpening spoke shaves. Now you can use this for kitchen knives, you can use it for many, many other tools as well. You can use it for planes if you want to. Uh, what I've got is a paddle, this is a diamond paddle, and it works great, it's called a diamond hone. But you can just glue sandpaper to a stick of wood and you've got basically the same thing. So we're going to work through a couple of things just to show you what I'm looking for. These are very traditional spoke shave and everybody and their dog I know has trouble sharpening these for some reason. But I want to show you a method that will really give you exactly what you need. I use this on modern spoke shave. This looks like an old spoke shave but it's actually fairly new, probably 10 years old. It's a kit that I got from Veritas and you should get one of these. They're great spoke shaves, very comparable to these because the blade becomes the sole and it works exactly the same way and it gives the same result as a wooden spoke shave does. Here's an older version of the same thing. This is a great spoke shave. I just bought this one on eBay. You unscrew these, the blade drops out just like it does with this one here. So let me take this one apart and give you an idea of what we're looking at. Not a whole lot different. There, that one is. Not a whole lot different than these old wooden spoke shaves that people are writing into me and saying how much trouble they're having with their wooden spoke shave. So this is a method that will work for you. So this is not a whole million miles away from this one. Here's another one. Um, let's look at this one. This is the standard Stanley number 151. It's made by different makers and you can use the same method for sharpening this one. They all have a bevel on them. So if you look at this is a bottom down one, this is a bevel up one. So this one would be held in the spoke shave this way or bevel down. Uh, should I say not bottom down? This one goes in the spoke shave. This one, the, this one is really the reverse of that and these are two. So let me show you how the best way I've come across for sharpening these. First of all, let's deal with this one. This is the one people have quizzed me about the most. Set your gauge here and see what angle you have on the spoke shave blade like this. So I just align this. This one is around 25 degrees, which is very standard for this type of spoke shave, 25 degrees. This one, on the other hand, has been well worn, well used, and the bevel on this one, can you see the gap in there? That gap shows me that this is a much steeper bevel, and it may be that something has got so worn on this, so now I look at this, and the angle, the steep angle on this is 35, 36 degrees, but you know, this will still work, it'll work just fine, it doesn't make very much difference to the spoke shave. This is a round bottom spoke shave here. Can you see on a round bottom traditional wooden spoke shave, the front is, is turned. So this method will work on this type of spoke shave uh, just the same as it does on a flat bottomed wooden spoke shave. So this method works. So what you do is you take a piece of wood like this, just a piece of flat wood, stick it in the vise here, and you can adjust this then. It becomes infinitely adjustable Forget the guide now because we're going to go to the original bevel which is from the back point here to the front of the edge there. So we take our paddle, lay it on here and we lower this in the vise until it hits the back edge. Now how could that be simpler? Just to make sure you can see this, I'm going to ink this along the edges here like this so you can see where I'm removing the steel from. I want to hit this back edge too to try and maintain some kind of bevel and I can do that with this one and all of the others. Can you see on this one too, this is the Veritas bevel edge, beveled um, blade for the sp their spoke shave too. So the same on this one and the same on this one. So we'll be showing you these adjustments. What about this one too? This one actually I just bought on eBay this has never been sharpened. I don't think this was sharpened ever since it was bought. It's got the grind marks, the kind of grind marks you would get by the manufacturer, which being Stanley is pretty rough. Okay, so we put this one on here. We put this on here and we eyeball. See this point on the bench? I want to use around the middle of here because I'm going to be using a circular motion like this. So just to get the angle right, I'm going to put the blade so the edge comes right on the front edge here 
and keep it flat and press down on the sole and I just rub here now I don't know I'm not hitting this front edge so I need to come about an, a little bit higher here and I keep adjusting now it's hitting the bottom bevel here so it's taking it off I'm going to come another eighth of an inch which is about three or four mil higher and I just keep moving up until I catch that front edge can you see now so I'm hitting do I have a pointer here so I'm hitting here and I'm hitting here so I've got both edges being hit this is pretty fine even though it's a medium so I might go with a, a coarse cut this is a 120 grit abrasive paper just glued with double sided tape to a piece of wood so I'm going to go here now I've got a heavier much heavier grind on here and I'm taking that hump down across the whole width of the spoke shave and I just keep going keep going until that's taken down so this is about the same length as was at the center of there you can see here so I can use either end of this and I can work either side I can turn around and go to a fresh coarser grit there this gives it a very very uniform bevel and I just work the bevel until I've gone through all of that black till I've got to the front edge now then what I can do if I have too much to take off here I can adjust the bevel by bringing this up here and and hitting that front edge with it if I want to but I don't want to keep that hump I want to take it down a little bit more or I can just remove this and come higher in the vise and change the bevel angle like this so there now I'm right on that front edge and I've created a camber on there which I think is a great bevel to have on a spoke shave anyway can you see I've reached the front edge here so I'm actually on the very front of the bevel now I've got a slight camber on the blade which I think is perfect and I work across here across the whole of the bevel this is higher here than it is here so I'm going to spend a little more time can you see I've got this abraded part here I'm going to take a coarser grit again here gone to the newer grit should I say and take that corner down so it's nice and even along this back edge and I keep going and I should have a burr on this edge I have a burr all the way along here I don't have the burr here and you can see I hope I can see there's a little black edge here that I haven't got down so this has to come down now often uh, you can't file this because it's too hard it's, it's too, too the steel is too hard it's been hardened so I keep going with the abrasive here into that corner to get it nice and even across the hole until I have a burr on that underside now in my case I've got all the way down to there I've got a burr here so now I go to finer grits here I've got fine and super fine so I've got three grades here this is my fine so I'm going to go on here now on top of that actually I'll go with this one first because this was a medium so this is smoother and this is getting right on the front edge I can see the uh, the edge is coming to a shine here right on that cutting edge now then I go to the fine one dead simple very very simple then I go to the super fine now super fine is for a spoke shave is very very fine so you you don't have to worry about going any more than this unless you 
want to really polish that edge out. We've got a burr all the way along the back here. To polish this out, you can take a piece of wood like this, charge it with chromium oxide, or aluminium oxide, or even aluminium oxide, depending on where you live. And you can polish this side out like this now. Just push it, not pull it, because we've created a sharp edge, so it'll just jar in the wood if you pull it. So polish this face just like this, and it should be getting a super polished edge on here now. Can you see in there? Probably not, but... So that's got that side. This side now is the side we have to work on a little bit. This one we can put in the vise here. Now this one does not have to be dead flat. You can have an angle on this and put a bevel on here. But once you start doing that, you'll end up with taking it down too much. So you need a sort of a relief edge on here. So I suggest you just feel for this edge here. Pinch it between your fingers so your fingers are riding on the bench top and rotate the cut like this. So I'm at the same height, this is guaranteed. Uh, my fingers are being compressed on the bench top. So this is getting the underside here done. Very consistent. And I keep going, I could do the same with this too. I could, if it was too pitted or too rough on this underside, I can do exactly the same with this, and I can use the coarse grit, but this is working just fine. This works so well. Do the same with the next grits. Super fine is not the one. Here's the fine. These paddles are not too expensive. I think most people can afford them. They're made by Easy Lap in the US, they're excellent, excellent diamond hones. They last, I've been using these for probably a couple of years for my sharpening. See here, so I pinch here, get the same height again, and polish out. Circular motion, no need for any liquid. Now I'm at the edge, now see this here? So this now just buffs out this edge here trying to make it left-handed here not easy for me so I'm going here just so you can see really is why I mentioned left hand so this is polishing the underside usually go 30 or 40 times on here to polish this face mind your fingers now and that's how we polish and get the, the, the infinitely sharp edge we want for this. That one's sharp, super sharp. So if you're working with any of the others, let me just show you. On this one here, do the same. You take any straight edge, but these work. this will get you exactly where you want. Lower this down. I know this one is 25 degrees. I already checked it in here. So I already found that that's usually the grinding angle that people sell them at so that one is 25 so when this goes on here I want it to hit the whole of the bevel can you see maybe you can't I'm going to go to the middle of the paddle part there so and then I'm on the edge lined up here if I rub here can you see a white line here that means I'm hitting only the back edge, which means I have to come up here or I have to change the distance from the paddle end, but here, so I'm gonna go here now, put this on the bench, hit the middle of where the abrasive is. Now I've got the front edge, have I got the back edge? I'm gonna, see on this part here, there's, I neither hit the front nor the back, so I'm gonna just take my paddle and place it here and see how close I am so I've got just the front edge, so I need to go down just a little bit, like <coughs> that. And I just keep lowering that. Now, I've got the whole of the back bevel. Can you see here? 
So it's exactly the same for this spoke shave. It's exactly the same for this one. They're all the same. This is going to simplify your edge tool sharpening for the spoke shave. Can you see the whole of the back bevel now? On this coarse level, I'm getting the whole of the back bevel. So it's taking out the rough marks left by the original manufacturer's grinding. So I could use that yellow sandpaper, that coarser sandpaper. The colour's got nothing to do with it, really. It works. Look at that. Now I just go with the different grits. I've got exactly the same. I've got a burr on this side. This is ready for polishing out on this side. Uh, you can do that in the conventional way for any blade, any uh, plain blade or anything like that. So this works for all of your spoke shave sharpening. It works perfectly. Mm -hmm.